EIDL grant recipients should see a portal shortly. This is LA Late, and thanks for tuning in for Friday with a big exclusive. As always, like and subscribe to this channel, and we may feature your comments in tomorrow's video. We have a lot of your comments, but first the breaking news, which LA Lake exclusively reported earlier today online, also featured in our EIDL loan story. If you received an EIDL grant, you should be receiving within two to three weeks an invitation from SBA to join into a portal, and that portal will begin your loan process. What does that mean? Let's back up. So, LLA has exclusively learned today that EIDL grant recipients should count two to three weeks from the date of receipt of funds from SBA. And within two to three weeks, you will receive an email. The email will be SBA. It will prompt you to go to a portal. And at that portal, you will be requested to set up a username and password. And in that portal, you can begin the loan process. As detailed on LLA, just because you received a grant doesn't mean you are going to receive a loan and there are different elements involved. What does the email actually state? Here's actually a, the exact language of the email. It will state your SBA application number is ready for the next step. Create your SBA Economic Injury Disaster Loan Portal account to provide additional details or requested documents. That's courtesy of MS in his, com his or her comments. But as LLA exclusively learned today, that you should be receiving that email within two to three weeks. So if you received your EIDL grant last Friday, which was a big drop, a lot of people received their EIDL grant money last Friday, expect this email to come as early as next week. Also, and a lot of you have dropped in the comments, if you wish to decline the loan, you can also decline the loan. You do not have to accept it. All right, let's get right to your questions. KG says applied on March 31st. No email, no advance, no credit pull. Called and was told bank information does not match. It does. I read it off and it does. Waited a week and then called back and my application was flagged as duplicate. Oh, because I entered oh, zero zeros in EIN. Well, I don't have an EIN. I filed Schedule C. I told the rep the form wouldn't let me bypass it. She shrugged it off and says, yes, the whole application is flagged as duplicate. At this point, I'm done. KG, this is basically um, what we discussed yesterday. I don't think you're done. I do think you have a solution. When you applied for an EIDL, it said on the application, the first one was, are you a sole proprietor? Second one was, are you a business with 100, 500 employees or less? If you clicked the second one, which requires an EIN, uh, and put zeros, then that was an error. But if you click the first one as sole proprietor, then all you had to put in was your social security number. So to recap, KG, KG if you had clicked sole proprietor and put in zeros, then just call us SBA up and say, I made a mistake, I forgot to put my social security number in. If you click the second one for a business 500 employees or less, then you are potentially done. That application was calling for businesses, not sole proprietors. Now, you can ask SBA, can you fix it? And maybe they'll fix it for you. Black Apathy says, I'm theorizing a lot of us are not even making it to the system to be confirmed for a grant because of just too many applications. Due to so many applications, a possibility of overwhelming errors You know, if you watch the EIDL loan we produced today, Someone in the comments out of Pennsylvania said the system crashed in Pennsylvania and the loan officer had to download all the forms manually and that when he is not in the office, nothing gets um, pushed out. It's unclear how many processes there are and in how many territories of the country. So if the system is crashing routinely in your part of the country as it was in Pennsylvania, are forms having to be done manually? That's the big question. All right, Chris says, I called SBA today after I was called, called yesterday. Both days, I was connected to a tier two representative and was told on both days to wait and was still being processed and asked if there was any problems and told no problems that I may receive 1,000, oh, excuse me, 10,000. Instead of 3,000, I have only three employees and I applied for a third, I applied the 3rd of April, as you mentioned in yesterday's video, that everyone should have had their grant by now, but not everyone as I have applied on the 3rd. Thanks again. Great point, Chris. As we indicated, not in yesterday's video, but maybe uh, early in this week, 
someone, uh, we had learned that for some bizarre reason, applications that were put in, in mid-April were paid in late April before applications in early April. It's really not clear. And what I'll add also is that we're now hearing that applications are being processed faster in some territories of the nation, that it's not being done through one central location. So just as you heard in our EIDL loan story today, stuff in Pennsylvania is just a hot mess, where other parts of the country they aren't having problems. So there may be that issue as well. June says, so I filled out the documents wrong the first time. I didn't apply as an individual, but use my social security number. Should I reapply to fix or should I have applied as an individual? Uh, June, you can't reapply, um, but you can always try to fix. So let's see what you can fix. I didn't apply as an individual, but I used my social security number. Okay, June. So if you applied as a business with 500 employees or less, you needed an EIN. If you have that EIN, call up SBA and give it to them. If you apply as a business with 500 employees or less and listed it as a corporation or a um, an, uh, or listed it as an LLC, I would presume you have an EIN. Now, if you list it as a DBA or just as a as much of nothing, then your personal social security number should be enough. But they need to be able to identify it. So in that regards, definitely call SBA. Uh, A.B., thank you. Great stuff. All of your videos. Oh, videos. oh well, thank you, A.B. All right, George says, so I applied on the April the 11th. Should I wait or call? I was told it's there four weeks behind. I put down two employees, but I filled as a sole proprietor. Is that a problem? I put down the name I use as a business name. Is that a problem? And I put down the name I use as a business name. Everyone on here had nine different things to do. Seems they might have been using, giving bad advice. So George, um, you can't generally change the number of employees. That's, that is the most common question. Can you change from eight to 10? Could you change from five to six? No. If you put zero, they'll change it to one. But if you put two and you want it to be three or four, no. Um, as to the name of the business, um, if you applied as a sole proprietor, then you would have put your name and your social security number and you're fine. If you applied as a business, then you would have to put the business name and the business EIN. If you didn't do either of those, then you need to fix it by calling SBA. Richie Porter, sorry about the last comment. I was trying. I was saying I applied on April 3rd and I received a credit alert on April 28th and on May 5th I called and spoke of a tier two representative and was told I haven't received my grant due to my personal account instead of my business account information. I called back to change my account info. So he watched the video and he realized where the error was. And I was told by the tier two agent that as I noted on my account, I changed the information and the loan officer was the only person who could make the changes. Wow. How long will it take for an own loan officer to make the changes for me to receive the grant? Okay, so here we're getting into this sort of geographical problem. As you'll hear in the EIDL loan story today, one person indicates that in Pennsylvania, you have to get this one person on the phone who's a loan off. Well, you have to hope this one person's in the office who's a loan officer because their system crashed and that everything is dependent upon this one person who downloaded the forms. In other parts of the country, there've been a, there have been a lot of comments here um, by people who have been able to have things fixed on the telephone. We featured a lot of those comments yesterday. People got things fixed. It is hard to say if it's the result of the person you get on the phone or if it's the result of where your application was filed. If I clearly don't know the answer. So what I would suggest to do is call SBA again and really, as, as indicated in today's video, even two people telling you is not enough. At this point, you really need to have three people until you start hearing the same thing repeated to believe it is exactly true. Um, it is very commonplace for, commonplace for one SBA representative to say one thing and another one to say something totally different. Rosie, are we able to apply for the EIDL if self-employed driver drop off and pick up um, not having business accounts? Thank you. Yes, you're allowed on EIDL as first prong to apply as a uh, self-proprietor, independent contractor. Um, if you click that, then you're good. As always, the EIDL process is closed, so you can't apply for something new. Uh, G Farms Chron oh, G Fam's Chronicle say, I got the EIDL, but it definitely wasn't the ten thousand. What happened? Do they have? Do they give the full amount? Um, they're not. 
<laughs> why? We all know why. Um, they're digressing, as reported on this channel, for since day one. The SBA is digressing from the CARES Act and only paying $1,000 per employee. Um, it's not the law. They're not following the law. But the good news is that if you want to proceed with a loan, it's an advance against the loan, and that you potentially could get that with the loan. Uh, unseen hero. I personally know two people who got their EIDL loans without any possible additional paperwork. So, um, so with them, they didn't need it. Well, that's good to know. Jermaine, I applied for an EIDL on 3.30. I waited a month before calling. I've been calling for seven to 10 days per day since every time I spoke to a two-tier two -tier, two -tier two representatives. That's a tongue twister. I've been told different stories every time. Ridiculous. There you go. I mean, that's really the, the, one of the core issues of what's going on here. Um, they don't know what they're talking about and sad because I'm trying to save my business. Uh, and also, if you watched yesterday's business, uh, yesterday's video, Jermaine had, uh, if I'm pronouncing it right, gave uh, very nice remarks because in that case, incorrect information corrected and, and, and was on the path to getting forward. All right. D says, some of the SBA reps are rude. I had one hang up on me while I was trying to speak to a tier two. Another time a tier two was agitated. I had so many questions about my application and blamed me for having her system timed out. Okay, wow. She tried to make it clear to me that if I, what I called back again, not to tell the representative. Oh, wow. So uh, I won't go into the, the, the remainder of it, but D says it is just a... It's just an effort. Uh, understand that, you know, that's what you're dealing with. Katoki says, thank you for taking the time to reply to my comment the day before yesterday. You told me to keep calling for answers, and I did. I found out from an SBA rep that my digit of my social security number was off! Exclamation point. That was the holdup on my grant. Thank you for all you do, LLA. Well, thank you, Katoki. Or Horgo, or Jorgo, says, uh, after five weeks of applying, I found out today that the day I applied the doing business as box, I left blank. Customer service rep told me today that they're getting it fixed thanks to you, LLA. Well, thank you, Giorgio. As you see, if you get someone on the phone that is competent, they will fix it for you. Those that tell you that only the strange person who's on vacation and is, uh, you know, having a cocktail down the street and will be back in five weeks, just call back, <laughs> say thank you, and hang up the phone and call back, and start over with a new person. Beauty Expert Studio says, I know that I messed up. I do have an EIN, and I'm a sole proprietor, but now I have an LLC, and my EIN, EIN doesn't match my business name. When you're learning about business, shaking my head. Yes, Beauty, but what's important is what you applied at the time. So if you can queue it up and fix it, then that's good. If you apply as a sole proprietor, you don't need the EIN. You only need your social security number. So if you did that, beauty experts, you're fine. Don't worry. Ricardo, another great video. Well, thank you, Ricardo, and thank you for watching and your kind comments as always. Matt, my friend applied Monday for an EIDL grant. He was given a number, and the next day he got an email that the next day he's saying his application was denied because it was agricultural only. But he is in the agriculture, but he thinks he hit the wrong button. He reapplied and seems to be an and is waiting to see what I expected. Well, that's sort of interesting. Um, we've only had two people uh, comment on all our, you know, half a million views. What a what a great run it's been the last few days. And that have been agricultural, uh, that applied for that agricultural EIDL app, um, form on Monday. As you know, the form that went live on Monday was only for agricultural businesses, 500 or less. And this is only the second one um, no further updates from that other person, but only the second one. So it's not quite clear how they know it's an agricultural business. Um, clearly, if the name sounds like it, maybe that's the cue. But and also the name clearly sounds not like it, like a roofing company or a uh, pool supply company. Why are you applying for an agricultural loan? Um, Conjure says, Matt, weird. An SBA agent told me to reapply despite it being for agricultural since I applied before. Well, there you go. <laughs> Bad reps are everywhere. So one SBA rep allegedly told someone to apply for an EIDL application on Monday, even though the form is only for agricultural. Good luck with that, rep. Uh, 
DAK says you provide valuable updates and break the process down with uh, with detail. Your videos serve as a PSA. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Well, thank you, DAK. So you, there you go. This is a Friday update. Thank you for tuning in for the channel. You know we're going to start featuring a lot of other stuff. LA is, a, of course, a sports and entertainment news site. And so we're going to start to phase in all that other great stuff. So I hope you stay tuned with everything else we're delivering on the channel uh, and join us as we sort of broaden the scope and the genre of the channel over the next couple of days. As always, drop, drop your comments below, and we may feature them in tomorrow's video. Stay with LA for more.